everyone. Welcome to another episode of Vetfolio Voice. Our talk today is sponsored by Wiley Publishing and features Dr. Larry Tilly here to talk about an exciting new resource available to use in practice. Dr. Tilly is the author of the veterinary textbook we all know and love, The Five-Minute Veterinary Consult. I know that book has saved my neck more than once, and now all of this essential information is available in an easy-to-use online platform called Vet Consult, which combines the information of the three most widely used books in the five-minute veterinary consult collection. Now, when I say easy to use, I'm speaking from experience. When I heard about Vet Consult, I decided to try it out, and I'll tell you, I love it. It makes all of this information searchable, and now it includes thorough and customizable client handouts to send home at the end of the visit. I love sending client handouts home, so having them kind of pre-written and ready for me is so helpful. Before becoming a founding member of VetMed Consultants and serving as President and Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Larry Tilly was the founder and president of several successful veterinary-related businesses including a veterinary specialty cardiology and internal medicine referral business. Dr. Tilly served as the head of the Department of Cardiology at the Animal Medical Center in New York. Dr. Tilly received his DVM from Iowa State University and performed his internship and residency in cardiology at the Animal Medical Center in New York City from 1969 to 1972. Dr. Tilly is board certified in the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine, Small Animal Internal Medicine. He's written hundreds of articles and over 20 textbooks, including The Five-Minute Veterinary Consult, seven separate editions of that book, Essentials of Canine and Feline Electrocardiography, and the Manual of Canine and Feline Cardiology, five editions of that one. Dr. Tilly has been an invited speaker on veterinary medicine throughout the world, giving numerous presentations on internal veterinary medicine and cardiology. In July of 2020, Dr. Tilly found a possible link in protection against COVID-19 between individuals who received measles, mumps, and rubella vaccinations and those who didn't. It was found that the MMR vaccine could offer some protection against COVID-19 and possibly reduce morbidity and mortality in the most vulnerable population, as suggested by this research. Two papers on his research have recently been published. Dr. Tilly lives in Santa Fe with his fiance, Ellen, 14-year-old grandchild Tucker, and one great dog, Zoe. And we talk a little bit on this episode about Dr. Tilly's success with geriatric dogs. It's very interesting. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into this episode. I'm joined by Dr. Larry Tilly, and we are going to talk about kind of an exciting new option for veterinarians that's out there. And it centers around the Five Minute Veterinary Consult, a book we all know and love. So Dr. Tilly, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. We're thrilled to have you. And, you know, the Five Minute Veterinary Consult, definitely something I think most of us are familiar with. I have been known to pull it out many times. So let's kind of start there. You were involved in the initial creation of the 5-Minute Veterinary Consult. Can you tell us a little bit more about it, kind of where they came from and what the goals were when they were first created and published? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. When I, we first started this, of course, this is that we're in the now the seventh edition and uh, the first edition, I was presently at the Animal Medical Center, which is in New York City and where I was an intern and resident of. And of course, that's a major educational uh, facility where you know we see a lot of animals in New York City. And so I was involved a lot with education, spent a lot of time on the human side with Columbia University and New York Hospital. So really, I my whole love has been education. And but I had I had some frustration because what I would do is uh, I would of course look up things related to my work at the Animal Medical Center and certain diseases and clinical science and so on. And there were, you know, of course, numerous textbooks out there, both on the human side as well as the veterinary side. But I was somewhat frustrated because the books were great, you know, big volumes, but it was very, very hard to find what I wanted to know in a quick fashion. So one of my ideas was this was and just common sense, but it really worked out well, I think, is that I, I thought maybe what she should, what should do. And what I did was went through the indexes of some well-known veterinary textbooks which were actually you know, good books, but a lot of work were put into all those chapters. 
but it was very hard to again digest it and find what was going on. So what I did was simply scan all the indexes, came up with a list of all the diseases and all of the clinical signs that could occur in veterinary medicine, you know, ma major task, right? And then what I did was design and, and came up with the concept of one or two pages that would definitely summarize exactly what you would want to have for each one of those diseases and come up with a format, which again is the five minute veterinary consult. And when you look at the book or you're going online now with the, the vet consult, you can see very clearly that we have the pathophysiology, the definition of the disease, uh, how to quickly diagnose it, what are the differentials, how to treat it. So it's all right there in a, in, a, in a page format of one, two, or three pages, depending on the topic. And so that's what we did. And then what we did, I'm not an expert in endocrine disease. I'm not an expert in, in other, other diseases. My expertise is cardiology. I then actually contacted a number of specialists that are out there that were renowned in the field of, uh, of endocrine diseases or, or you, you name the topic and was able to find those people. They were excited about it. And they uh, and it was very easy for them to actually, again, write this chapter. There's a little chapter. They're really not chapters, but they all had to do is fill in the different sections of that. So we end up having a book that covered all of the diseases, all the clinical signs, and very, very easy to now look and qu quickly see what was happening with that disease and where to go right away, rather than having to look in a chapter of a, of a, of a book and spend so much time you know, trying to digest what was going on. And I needed the information right away. I was seeing lots of patients. I was a clinician at the Animal Medical Center. So again, it was just very, very, very fulfilling to have this common practical concept of doing this. That's amazing. And I mean, thank you so much for going through and doing that because it really is a useful book. It makes me think of kind of an epiphany I had when I first graduated from vet school. And I've shared this with other new grads and vet students where I said, this isn't vet school anymore. You don't have to, you know, stress about having all the answers in your head. Like it's okay to go look it up. And more importantly, it's okay to phone a colleague and have them give you the answer. You don't have to stress about, you know, you have to do it all and know it all. And part of that, like, being able to phone a colleague and have them give you an answer, kind of like what you're expressing here, it was usually so quick for, you know, somebody to say, yeah, it's this, and you do this, this, and this next. And they kind of had that knowledge at their fingertips, off the top of their head. And that's sort of what Five Minute Veterinary Consult brings to the table, is that five-minute phone call to a colleague to say, hey, remind me about this disease. And they have that knowledge right there at their fingertips. And, you know, Five Minute Veterinary Consult kind of brings you that same knowledge without having to coordinate schedules and phone calls and things like that amongst a lot of busy people. Just an, an amazing book full of, of really practical and to the point useful information. And most important, it, it was complete. Uh, it, everything is there that you would find in any other textbook, but again, in a very usable format. And more important, you should just to back up a little bit, veterinarians have a tough job out there. They have to know everything. It is basically impossible to be current. And then you've got a, a, a pet owner and a beautiful little pet right there, and you want to give the best care. And that's almost impossible for most veterinarians. I don't know how, how they do it already. So this format of the five-minute veterinary consult allows them to really be accurate, be able to really come up with the proper diagnosis, very quickly decide what the therapy is. And of course, what that ends up being, you have a pet owner that's very, very happy. We have a pet that's now going to live maybe longer and have a better life. I mean, what more do you want uh, to, you know, to, to actually do uh, as far as veterinary medicine? And as an educator, it has been very, very fulfilling for me. Well, that's fantastic because exactly what you said, you have a happy owner, you have a pet who's being treated correctly. The owners don't have to see you walk back into the treatment room and go, whew, glad I had that book and I could look <laughs> that up. Right. Um, and absolutely kind of everybody wins in this scenario. Yep, totally. Okay, so now I'm thinking of someone like myself who does house call medicine, and as much as I would love to pack my backseat full of books, I can't obviously do that. So this is where we get into something that's really exciting for someone like me, and that is the transition to an online platform to complement these incredibly useful books. So tell us a little bit more about Vet Consult. 
Yeah. Well, so it just makes makes common sense. Take this book and 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 because of how it was designed, it, we're not having extensive pages of chapters and chapters. We have each entity or each each disease and each clinical sign in a one or two or three page format. So that's very very easy now to take that and put it on the electronic format. You, know, you can either go through a, your phone or, or your, your laptop, you name it. And it's now very easy to access and see clearly right in front of you, the pages of, of that one or two page disorder and be able to search right away. I mean, it can be done with the book right now too, but still a book is, that book's heavy. The book, the seventh edition now is, I can't remember what the page number is, but it must be 1400 pages. I, I, don't, I don't know. So with Vet Consult, it's even now another level of being able to access the material. So it's it's really great, especially with the technology. Absolutely. I think, you know, we are so used to kind of having that electronic format and that searchability in an electronic format. And even, you know, thinking with owners, if we're trying to explain something to them, I think it's becoming more commonplace to either maybe you have a computer or a tablet in an exam room or, you know, to take out your phone and look something up real quick. I know, what were we looking up the other day? We were, I think we were looking up the the price of, of something through an online pharmacy. And, you know, it was very, it was no big deal to pull out our phone and look something up. So having that available at our fingertips, I think really it takes this incredibly useful resource and then makes it even more usable. And again, just because of the design of the book, no, all, all the other books that are out there, it would be very difficult to do this because again, the design of the book, if you look at the actual paper copy of, of the text itself, again, each entity is, is in a format that's very, each section, pathophysiologist, you can quickly see what drug to give and even the dose too. So it's it's that that format. So so other books I think would have a very difficult time, and, and they haven't, I don't think, to that extent, to be able to have the whole book on a on a on a platform that's that's electronic. It's it's just, it's fascinating. It really is. I I didn't really think about it, but now that you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. That that it's the way this book is formatted, and I love that you bring up that the dose is in there because that's another term that I like to use a lot is cookbook medicine. Like, don't tell me right. I need an NSAID. Tell me I need meloxicam at this dose, this frequency for this long. As a as a side note, uh, it's actually somewhat funny, but actually it is very very true. When the when the book did come out, we had a, a big conference of all the of, of, of the, from from Wiley Blackwell. Uh, regards to uh, the new concept of the book. So all the, all the representatives were in this room, maybe 50, 60 people, and myself and my co-author is Dr. Frank Smith, who we ha have on the phone here at all. But, but Frank Smith and myself, we presented to the audience uh, from Wiley the concept. And what we did, we, had, we came up with a disease and we, we pretended that we were with in front of a, of a pet owner. And Dr. Smith had a textbook that was the traditional chapters and textbook I had the five minute veterinary consult. So we had, we timed it. Who could actually come up with the diagnosis and the therapy the fastest? And we all timed it in front of the audience. And it got to the point, I actually had the, uh, the, the, the chapters that was not the five minute consult. And I, I struggled. I couldn't, and, and Frank was sitting there having his cup of coffee and enjoying himself. He already <laughs> made the diagnosis. I finally got to the point, I just threw the book away. <laughs> <laughs> he said he won, clearly. Yeah, he won. He won. <laughs> Oh, and to clarify, he had the five minute veterinary consult and then you were trying to look it up in like in our more traditional textbook format. Right, right, right. And if I remember, it was it was an animal that had a, I think it was cardiomyopathy and, and we're trying to figure out what was the best treatment. And we had to find out quickly because the owner is really this animal is really in trouble and we needed to do something right away. So I was so frustrated to the point where I ended up just throwing the book away. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's just toast. <laughs> No, but it does. It does show the realistic. I mean, you you, yeah. you need to you need to. Sometimes there are emergencies where you need to look up things very quickly, and we do have all the emergency diseases that are in there, the critical things of what needs to be done right away, and you need to know right away. You've got a pet owner that is very caring, and you've got an animal that's quite sick. So let's expand on that a little bit because that's kind of where my brain was going next. We've kind of talked about it it being very very normal to use technology in daily practice and some of the utility of this book. How do you envision Vet Consult coming in and playing a role for veterinarians and veterinary practices? Well, I think now it's 
everybody has technology uh, access, you know, the laptop, we all got the, the, the phones and we can access everything. Everybody's doing it now. And then the internet connections are, are really standard, basically worldwide. And so one can be anywhere and be able to access, you know, the, 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 the textbook. So that's what happened. I mean, that's what we do already with other uh, things that we, we, we do each day with the, with the phone and in the computer. So, and the, the key thing is now we can also keep it current. That's, the mo that's really important because most textbooks over the past and from day one, when I first started this, the first edition is I was also frustrated that the books that were coming out, they, they, a lot of people put a lot of work into those books, but they were also old. They were like, they were outdated because it took a long time to create that, those chapters and get the authors. Well, the way our textbook is now formatted is very, very easy for an author to simply go and look at the sections and update that. And we do this book, what, every four, five years, three, four, I mean, almost four years. And so we have, it's now current too. That is so, that is so important. And again, we also have access, this is key too, to all of the top specialists. Like I'm not a specialist in neurology. So we have we have neurologists that are located in, in England, for example, that may be an expert in epilepsy, or you know, and or we have another expert over here in, in Switzerland. And if you look at our list of all our contributors, we've got I think almost I think close to 350 specialists that work for us and write the chapters. And they're all experts. So also with the technology, this also allows us to access their updates and, and, and making sure that this chapter is current on the next edition. You're right. That is hugely important and a great point because, you know, also on the consumer side, thinking about you get your textbook and, you know, gosh, there's nothing like the smell of a new textbook and, you know, you're holding it and it's great. And then they come out with a new edition a few years later and you're like, man, like this is a big book. It was not cheap. And now what do I do? You know, and what do, if I do get the new edition, what do I do with this one? And so I think that's a really good point to say you can just keep it current and we're not talking about shuffling a bunch of textbooks in and out of practice all the time. And again, we have that expert that, that I mean, they're really, these are specialists. They've, they've written chapters and they've lectured on this topic. And so they're, they're top in the world as far as what they're doing. So we, we've been very lucky and they've all said yes to redoing all the new editions. Well, we often get new authors. There's often new diseases, you know, new concepts. So we often, we always are updating that and we've had no problems for them to be saying yes to all this because they see how easy it is. I still author chapters and textbooks, but it is a hassle to write chapters and in, in, in different textbooks because it's it's hard. And, when, and with our format, it's very, very easy to fill in the path of physiology, the, the treatment concept, how to diagnose this disease. And it's very simple. We've got it in bullet fashion. So it's very, very easy to see exactly what should be done. So it's it's really it's it's nice how it all fell together. Very cool. Very cool. And there's another really useful part that I think is is so exciting and so cool, and that's client information sheets. Can you tell us a little bit more about client information sheets to not only make it easier on us when we're sitting there and we have the animal in front of us and we have to make a diagnosis and a treatment plan, but also maybe save us from having to explain something and then honestly, like, and then go back and rewrite it to send it home with the owner. Now we've got some information that's kind of pre-populated for us. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's great. So what you can do if you have a client, I can actually now access you know, on the computer that say I've diagnosed um, a, a seizures in this in this dog, and I can actually pull up that topic from the text, the five minute consult on on the internet uh, from the portal site, and actually give her an actual copy of the actual chapter or that not chapter but that that topic. Or another example, I've diagnosed hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and I think it's very very important for the pet owner to really know what this disease is and and. They want to be educated. And so I have no problems giving them a copy of that. Uh, and I can print that out for them. There's no need. Or I can even email it to them. But in most cases, you're going to print it out. Uh, so you can actually print out the actual topic. Or you can also, with the format of the vent console, you can actually make a, a client education uh, format that actually even has the practices logo on it and actually give that to the pet owner. So you got two options that can be done. It's very easy to do, and it works out quite well for the pet owner to be able to be educated 
And that's important for the veterinarian too, to have that happen. And are these sheets, are these written by the same experts that we're talking about who wrote the chapters? Uh, some of them are. We, we've hired over the years uh, people that were um, in technicians that kind of understand layman's terms and be able to modify that. We've also got from Wiley basically uh, people that actually know how to word things properly. You know, so so we have two concepts. Yeah, we have two formats. You, they can actually have the same one that I read from the five minute consult. I have no problem giving that to them. But we do have the ones that have been modified for the layman to be able to understand. And the wording is now more for them to make it more easy. So, but also, by the way, you may, be, may not be surprised, but uh, I know that the five minute console is often purchased by the book itself is often purchased by, by pen owners. And so it's, it's, it's not uncommon for me to see a pet owner wanting to have that. They'll see the textbook and, and actually even purchase the actual the book itself. So maybe one day they can also get it through the internet at one point. I, I don't know. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. And, you know, when we're talking about things like seizures or cardiomyopathy and things like that, I mean, just getting that diagnosis as a pet owner, that's overwhelming in and of itself. And so a lot of times I feel like when I'm talking to pet owners about some of these more serious conditions, most of what I'm saying is going in one ear and out the other. All they heard is, my dog has seizures. I'm going to have to manage this lifelong. And and all they're thinking about, is he going to be okay? Is, you know, what am I going to have to do for follow-up? Can I afford it? Is it going to be expensive? You know, and, you know, all of the things that go through a pet owner's mind when you give them these diagnoses. So being able to sure go over it as a practitioner, but then put something in their hands for them to take home and review and be able to call you with questions, understand what to expect with those follow-up visits, and really make that plan together where you're not reinventing the wheel every time they come in for a follow-up or a recheck or something like that, I think can just be, it can be hugely beneficial to you as a veterinarian because you know you're getting your information to the owner. And then of course, when the shock of maybe a more serious diagnosis wears off, then pet owners have the opportunity to review that information and say, oh, okay, I do remember her saying that. And you know what? Okay, this is why they want to follow up. And it makes a little bit more sense overall for everybody. Correct. I mean, a good example, just actually just yesterday, I have a, I, I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I uh, have a person that I've known in the past called me and they just had got a, they have a, a dog that's like, I guess, five or six years old and was having aggression with uh, another dog and also even with a, a child too, and wanted to know what to do. And I said, well, we, one could, you know, contact a behavioral specialist. And so I gave her a name of somebody here in Albuquerque, but right away, I went right to my computer and pulled up the, that, that topic from the textbook. And it's, it's extensive. I mean, if you look at it, it covers all the angles. What could be possibly going on in that household? Uh, where to address this? What to do? There are medications. So I sent sent that to her to look this all over, and uh, I'm sure it's going to help a lot. They may not even have to go to a behaviorist because once they really digest what was in that, I think it was like almost a two page topic in in the five minute consult. So it was it was nice, and because behavioral problems, by the way, when this is one of the ones that are also on the on the vet consult which is a very common problem, you know, dementia, aggression, you know, all, all the different topics that happen in veterinary field, they're quite complicated and very complex. And most veterinarians do not have a handle on that. I mean, and there's, and actually there's probably not that many behaviorists out there, I don't think. They are there, but I think there's a need for something like that. And that is in the vet, the portal site itself. Well, and it sounds like also it can be a good compliment if they do seek out a veterinary behaviorist for this problem, they have this information kind of upfront where maybe the whole visit can be a little bit more targeted from the beginning because that pet owner has a little bit more background into what the, what could be going on, what kind of questions to ask for, what things to look for, and, and things along those lines. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And when it was, again, it was very easy for me because I don't have any expertise in, in aggression. And I was, it was, it was very easy for me to give this to this pet owner that format and, and be educated. Absolutely. Well, I mean, sitting here talking about it, we're talking about this, this online platform with the five minute veterinary consult, which we all know and love. Now it's coming with client information sheets that we can, we can give to clients and even make them distinct to our practice. Honestly, it sounds a little too good to be true. So let's talk about you know, how do we access it? What does it look like? Is there a cost involved? Tell us a little bit more about kind of the, the concrete platform. 
the actual portal site for, for Vet Consult is really very, very simple. You can actually access the site. The search part of it is easy because you can search the actual disease and so on. And the cost basically can be uh, approximately $8 a, a month. And then if you want for a yearly uh, fee, it's uh, $75. And that allows you to actually have you know, connection to the site itself, be able to pull up those files, be able to create the client education sheets, and be able to search all the different diseases and and um, and the treatments and, and so on. It's, so it's uh, again like with any portal site, what you would have with any sort of uh, en- entity that you're looking into, you can actually do it quite easily and very cost effective. That is very cool. And I I love that you mentioned that there's a monthly and a yearly subscription because it it, it doesn't sound like it's a very expensive platform. And I love the fact that, you know, if I said, all right, I have to know what this is all about. Let me try it out and see, you know, to do it for a month, $8 a month, you can you can get in there, you can play around and you can see. And then also the idea of having a, a continuously updated five minute veterinary consult in my hands for that price, I think seems really, really exciting. But to me, it's to be candid, it's almost free. <laughs> I mean, to a certain extent, I mean, it is. I mean, look what you're getting. And it's not. And you're and we're going to you're going to be updating this periodically as the books come out. We're now in the seventh edition. So that's the last edition, which was done. What I think two years ago was the first it came out. So we're still very, very current. Uh, and when the next edition is done, of course, that's going to be updated in that site. So if I was a veterinarian in practice, I would be renewing that every year. It's inexpensive, especially with, with what you're doing. You're getting everything from all the diseases, all the clinical signs. Another key thing, which I know is on, on the site, is also we have a, at the back of the book itself that is the appendices. Uh, there's a number of, of, of topics there where we actually have all the normal values of different entities. There's all the key tests that we do, all the key techniques and certain things. Uh, there's the normal values for the electric cardiogram, for example. So there's a, a whole large list of, that's in the, at the back of the textbook that's also searchable, too. Wow. I, I love a good appendix that can really like walk you through some normals and some basics. That's great. No, that's huge. And isn't there some statistic about like our overall medical knowledge? It, you know, it took like 50 years for it to double and now it's doubling like every seven years. Don't quote me on that. I don't know what the actual <laughs> numbers are, but you know, with how fast medicine and scientific knowledge is advancing, like you said, you know, the idea of constantly having this updated and having the most, the most recent, the most current, information at your fingertips is is huge it's so important so so critical and again i go back to i don't know how veterinarians do it i really don't <laughs> i mean if i if i was in i don't know how you do it you're in practice and in practice how you've got owners that are demanding they should be and uh, my, my field's cardiology and 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 I would get these older dogs in with heart failure. And I want to be able to know what, how to diagnose it. Um, what is the new cardiac drug that should be given? What is the actual dose? You know, I can access that quickly. So again, I really, I, it's so fulfilling as, as a teacher, as an educator, I, I, and I have this book that I, that I helped author to be able to now give that to the veterinarian, who again is going to help the pet and help the pet owner. And then guess what? That pet owner goes home with a pet that's doing well, and there's a family back there. So if you're thinking about it, what we're doing is amazing. So there's nothing like it. I, I, I just, as an educator, and I really care, I have, I, have to, I have a dog that is 17 years old. I mean, last night, the dog woke me up wanting to go outside, but she's 17, and she's a little Chihuahua Terrier mix. And by the way, I have another dog that actually passed away about a year ago, and she was 24 years old. Unheard of. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And wow. I've, yeah. And I've given lectures out there, by the way, and I'll often show the but, uh, pictures of my my pets and so on. I even showed the 24 year old I was in. Actually, I gave a lecture in India about a year and a half ago at the World Congress. And I actually showed Wendy, my 24 year old dog. And everybody asked, what, I mean, how did she, how did she live so long? And I probably should have said this, but I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I think it was a she had some good treat. genes, that one. Good genes, yeah. They, I didn't, I, I, I didn't have to treat. It just worked out wow. well. But I, yeah, but there were times where I had to look up in the five minute consult about certain things, what to do for that dog, because you know, the dog was aging. There was dementia towards the end. 
but 24, that's kind of like a record. <laughs> wow. Yes. That's amazing. That It really is. And, and I'm, I would imagine probably towards the end there, there you were using veterinary consult a little bit. <laughs> totally. Yep. Yep. And when I, by the way, when I was in India, the five minute consult was being used over there. They were wanting my autographs, you know, and all this, but they were, it's, it's, it's in English, it's in English, which of course English is standard in, in this world. So that's why the, also you may want to address that is that the five minute consult can be used worldwide. And it is, it's been translated in many of the languages. And I guess maybe eventually what will happen with, with the portal site, you'll eventually maybe do other language in the future if this all plays out. But right now, it's a, it's it, it's in English, and it is it can be uh, people in in India can be actually accessing this portal site have no problem. So that's a key thing too. We're not just talking about the United States; we're talking about the world and a lot of pet owners out there in this world. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it sounds like just a fantastic product, really accessible and, you know, something that can do a world of good for us as practitioners, because you're absolutely right. There are those days where the pressure is on and you're like, oh, gosh, what is this? What do I do? And OK, I have that drug, but I've never used it before. And having all that information at your fingertips is crucial as a practitioner. But also, you know, like like we talked about, hugely beneficial to pet owners, to pets and you know, kind of like you said, just out there really making a big difference. So I'm so glad that we were able to sit down today and talk about it and get this information out that this resource is available because it sounds like, I mean, it's something that's that's necessary and incredibly beneficial for everyone involved here. Yes, yes, indeed. I mean, it just, I, I, I it's, it's fulfilling for me as, as an educator. My, my whole love has always been educating and, and helping the veterinarian. And I, I've done this in many ways with my lecturing and so on. But this this textbook has made it very easy for me, you know, to, to get across the, the message about what one should be doing in practice, you know, for the pet owner and for the veterinarian. And the key thing is is current. We're now all we're always going to be current with this format that we've we've established uh, with with the five minute consult. It literally is five minutes, you know. So but it's it's current, and the design of the book is is allowed us to make it current. So and and again, having the top specialists in the world being able to be involved with this textbook. Absolutely. Well, you know, of course, I feel like as a veterinary industry, we all want to thank you for all the work you did in the beginning to go through all those indices and pair up disease states and clinical signs and create the initial concept for the five minute veterinary consult. And then, you know, this is going to make a huge difference in veterinary medicine, having this online platform available. So Vet Consult is the name of the platform. And yeah, I hope everybody goes and checks it out. I know I will. Thank you so much, really. Dr. Tilly, what a great talk. What a fantastic resource. Thank you so much for putting all of this together for us. It was so great to have you on the show. I also want to say a huge thank you to Wiley for making this episode possible. And thanks to all of you who tuned in. For more episodes like this, click on the education tab on the Vetfolio website. As always, we'd love to hear your input on this talk, as well as ideas for topics you'd like to hear from us in the future. Feel free to reach out to me at dvm at vetfolio.com. You can also visit my Facebook page at Dr. Cassie DVM, and you can find me on LinkedIn. And remember, if one animal is better off because of you today, it's a great day. <laughs>